it is an extremely extremely hot day today and you can tell I'm in the middle of nowhere and this is an undisclosed location in very rural Nova Scotia we are visiting the DNR boneyard today I had permission to come up here and see if I can find some skulls so since I had the day off I figured I'll go so I haven't gotten out to look around yet it's pretty swampy in areas and there is a bit of a smell but it's nothing that I'm not used to so let's go see what we can find right off the bat we see some bones this is the remains of a very small deer I saw see both of the jaws here and when I look here I see the skull so I'll collect this little deer the um, front nasal bones are missing but I will record that information in my logbook whenever I come back here I said that I would record what I take now right now I'm only really after skulls and certain vertebrae like the atlas so that's pretty much what I'm getting today I've got lots of vertebrae lots of foot bones and stuff like that at home so I'll collect up this little girl write her down and then see what else we can find here's another little beauty I found this by listening for the sound of flies that's always a really good indicator now there's a small buck down there I am going to venture down there and get him and write him down I'm gonna stay clear of this girl though um, looks like she may have suckled this year as well but she's been here a week I'd say uh, maybe a little less than that she's looking like the um, the six day decomp of my deer only a little drier she hasn't been here too long though but there's a little buck right there in the center frame you can tell he's a buck because he's got little tiny tiny little stumps on his head there so it looks like there's a lot of bone washing down this area so before I collect him I'm going to take a little walk all around and pick him up on the way back there's some old skeletal remains here in the moss so what I'll go to do is I'm going to explore this and see what it is just adjust the camera all right it's I would say that this is probably canine based on the small size of this pelvis be really small canine now I'm basing that it's canine because there is no evidence of any quills even though it is rotted down if this was a porcupine there would be a lot of old quills there some ribs let's see some vertebrae here no atlas oh I see what it is the reason it's so little is that this was a fawn yeah that's a little tiny fawn so I'm gonna collect up a little bit of their bones here there's a oh here's a little skull let's see what this is it's pretty shattered up all right that was a small buck you can tell it was a buck because of this here this is what their skull looks like when they don't have horns because the horns fall off all right well here's an atlas vert so I'll take the atlas vert I'll leave his little skull behind but I will take the small jaw segment here because so I can use the teeth I'm just going to take a little look around here and see what else I can find from him but he was rather small unless this is part of a different animal which it very well could be there's a lot of bodies back here now this could be interesting and useful to me whoa that's big I did not expect that to be that big um, I'm assuming this is moose because there's no way that even a bear is this big that is huge but it's been sawed off but I can still use that that's cool that was just laying there next to a deer scapula that's cool I'm willing to bet that's a moose Here's another piece of sawed off bone that I found on the road here 
This will also be of interest to me. This place here is like a literal soup of decomposition. It's it's um in the ditch, and they've been putting the bodies down. The water's been coming down and washing it down. But it's like a literal soup, and I'm not kidding when I say it's like a soup, because it is. I have to be very careful where I step. Um, I don't probably get in decomp on my shoes, so this would be the last time I wear these shoes for anything other than body collecting. Um, this little skull here is wild. It's otter. Pretty sure that's an otter. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take this, and there's a couple other little skulls here that look like otter as well. So we'll do a census when I get back to the car, and we figure out what we have here. Oh, yeah, it's going. Is it going? I can't tell. Where's the, oh yeah, it's recording. Yep. Anyway, I am back from my adventure. Gold sovereigns and doubloons? No. No gold sovereigns, no doubloons. What's that, rock? Yep. It's smooth, it's perfect for my spider webs. I'll rush right in and see what the going price for rock is. It's sweet. Ooh. This is the treasure. Well, that's the treasure, eh? It must be full of uh, gold sovereigns and doubloons, is it? No gold sovereigns, no doubloons. I'm gonna get this clock. How about cash? But we may be able to convert some of this into cash in the future. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, keep this path clear. And get these bones out of here because I'm going to be hauling stuff out of here. Well, at least. Ooh, what's that? Skunk vertebrae. Oh. Isn't that nice? Mm, yeah, I can smell it. Here's our little buck. Yeah. One of our otters. Yeah. Here's our little doe. Yeah. Little bobcat. Yeah. I think that was her moose. Yeah, or mastodon. Something big. Maybe mastodon. No, nah, that'd be a moose. There's another bob kitty. Now this one's got all of the teeth. Yeah. Every single tooth counted for on that one. There's the atlas from the skunk. That'll be in my personal collection. Oh, yeah. Mandible. Yeah. It's a small deer. There's another piece of leg bone that was cut. Yeah. Yeah, that was a confiscation. Yeah. There's another kitty cat. It's yeah. kind of falling apart a bit. Yeah, well, you'll be Once able to restore it. There's an atlas. Yeah. And a deer. Now here's that little tiny fawn. Yeah. It's from the a fawn. That's the only part of that I found. Yeah. Skunk foot. Oh, good. Your teeth. Another mandible. Yeah. That's from her. And this is her other side. Oh, that skunk smells nice. I wish we had smell a vision, everybody. I don't even smell it. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, well, because, well, you know, you should be using some uh, uh, Lavoris. Lavoris? I don't even think they make Lavoris anymore. Well, that's it. No There's teeth nothing. in there? Yeah, that's what I'm looking for, making sure there's no more teeth. Yeah, that's it. Oh yeah, there's another piece in the trunk. There's another um, jaw section. In yeah. Part of the mandible. It was actually in the ground. It was sunk over. Right. Okay. This one's pretty busted up, but the teeth are still intact, and yeah. do segments with that. Yeah. Well, I'd have to say you did pretty good. Now, tell them where you were. Well, that's at the first of this video. Oh. I was at the, um, 
the DNR boneyard. Oh, okay. I have my permission paper to go up there. So I go in and tell them I'm going up. Yeah. So that they know. That way, in case one of them goes back there and finds me there, it's already been said. Yeah. That I am there. Yeah. I write a detailed list of my collection yeah. and pass it in so they can have it for their falls. You got sunburned. I did. Yeah. Mostly on this arm. Yeah, I see that. Because that's the driving arm. That's the driving arm, man. Yeah. You'll be two-toned. Probably three or four-toned. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, you did all right. Yeah. Now, what are you going to do with those rocks? Those rocks are going to be for my spider webs. Uh, okay. Where are you going to put them? I'm going to put them over there. Where I got my other bones laying, yeah. I'm lay them in there. Okay. Well, Unless you want them piled up there. Nope. But see, these are really smooth. Yeah. Like this is the kind of rock that I did my originals on. Yeah. So I got a bunch of that. Yeah. Because it's so hard to find the slate that's that. Did you tell them what you were doing? With the bones? With the slate. With the slate? Oh, I, they didn't know that I found slate. No, 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 for the camera, for the camera. I, I said, I mount my spider webs on them. Okay, yeah. You did say that. I did say that. Is the Alzheimer's kicking in or what? I don't think it's Alzheimer's, I think it's disinterest. Oh, that's it, yeah, yeah. <coughs> You're talking, my brain shuts down. Exactly. <coughs> that's been the story for the last eight years. <laughs> oh, yes. All right. I don't think that you could probably talk to every woman in North America and not one would agree with you that men don't pay attention. We're always just right there all the time. Yeah. Sharp as tacks. Or is that sharp as a pound of wet liver? Well, you're definitely not as sharp as a slate. Did you cut yourself? No. Oh, too bad. But I know it's sharp. You should do all right with them. Oh, yeah. These are perfect. Is that, is that all of them? Really long. Yeah. yeah. I was extremely happy with my today, my collecting and whatnot. So now it's time to put the collection kit back in the trunk. Yeah, I can smell the skunk in there. Good going, Smedley. What, you think you can smell skunk? Yeah, I know I can smell skunk. Here we go. Yeah, that'll work. You won't smell no skunk after this. Yeah, that'll Maybe. work. It's got some pretty nasty decomposition smell out of this car. <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? Isn't that wonderful? What's that, a Slurpee? It is a slushy. I'm gonna get rid of my bottles. Oh my God, I've never seen anybody make a, me make a mess like you. you never seen anybody make a mess like me? Yeah. What about you? I don't make a mess. The, uh, wh what do you see in there that's mine? It's mostly the back seat. <laughs> yeah, coffee right. A coffee cup. How many bottles? Quite a few. Yeah. I drank most of them today. Yeah, like I believe that. Well, I'm going in. I'm going to lock the door. And you can stay out here with the flies. What about my spaghetti? Her cheese. What about my cheese? Did you get my cheese? You did not specifically say cheese when I was writing. Oh, look, a chip lifter. What's, right a, here. what's a chip lifter? That's oh, a chip that's lifter. a chip lifter. That little fella mm. right there. Isn't he cute? Oh, yeah, that's beautiful. Some people have allergic reactions to their bites. Oh, yeah. And they swell up like golf balls. How are you doing, little chip lifter? Yeah, Carl was talking about that the other day. What, chip lifters? Yeah. 
They're cute, aren't they? And I never, uh, I, I didn't know what he was talking about. They're cute little fellas. Oh, yeah, yeah. See, they've got those big antennas. And they're right bumpy. Go get a pin. We'll pin them to a board. I'm not going to pin them. We'll have them forever. No, no, he's going to stay there. He's happy. Sun him. <sighs> I guess so. Wasps. We got wasps. We got flies. We got horse flies. We got black flies. We got mosquitoes. Yes, this place is just alive. Oh, well. You got blow flies, cotton flies? Also, the creature. That's right. Anyway. <laughs>